your lives. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook family and friends at Temple of Faith of God family, church family. It's happy 4th of July to everybody that's in the sound of my voice. It's a beautiful day to be a in the land of the living. It might not feel like it though, but that's all right. You get to feast on uh, some of this word that the Lord has for you. We pray that it will uplift your spirits and motivate you to get in the fight because we are in a fight. A spiritual warfare is coming, is here, and it's been here. And if you haven't been watching the news, you're not woke. And I know they try to uh, take that and uh, make it a derogatory term, but that's what we need for you to be, woke. Because they're trying to take us back to the 50s. They're trying to make us read how many jelly beans is in a jar. The Supreme Court is in with them. White supremacists is on the rise. And it's in our highest forms of government. It's in all state houses that are red. And some of them that are blue. Uh, we have to stay vigilant. We have to stay on the beaten path. He gave us the power to be able to cast down and trot under foot. Power to bound on earth and loose on earth. We can bomb the enemy that we fighting in high places and principalities and powers. The rulers of darkness and, and evil in the, in the high places. We have to do it. If my people, he keeps telling us, if my people that are called by my name will humble ourselves and pray and seek out his face and turn from our wicked ways, then will he hear from heaven and forgive us of our sins in the other land. We've always made it as a people. Black liberation theology is being taught. We're sounding the alone. We're watchmen on the post. We're on our post. And we're speaking what thus said the Lord. God said he will not do a thing unless he reveals it to his prophets. Somebody has to warn the people. And I'm one of them that he's used. He has called. And I'm on to much is given, much is required. I'm on the battlefield and I'm fighting for my Lord to build this kingdom here on this earth as it is in heaven. We're going to the book of Zechariah. Zechariah, the seventh chapter, eight to fourteen. Zechariah 7, 8-14. While their prayers were unanswered. I just gave you one reason why. 2 Chronicles 7, 14. But we as a people have always uphold the blood-stained banner of Jesus Christ. We always lifted him up. And he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Saints, it's time to get in your place. He's calling you. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. 
for they will shall be filled. Matthews 5 and 6. He's feed you what you need to be able to withstand the wiles of the enemy. Put on the whole armor what we preached last week. And we got to be thankful. Sunday school lesson. We have to be thankful. Attitude of gratitude. That was the Sunday school lesson. The, the 10 leopards that went forth and one came back and bowed down and worshipped him for, for cleaning him. We have to be. We got the line upon line, precept upon precept, this word of God. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come humbly submitting ourselves before your throne room of grace and mercy. We come lifting you up and we come magnifying your name. Father God, we ask that you hide your humble servant behind the cross at Calvary and speak through me to your people the word that your people need at this hour. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you open their ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Give them a hunger and a thirst after your righteousness, whereby they will be fed. And wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of your Son, Jesus, which is the Word of God. And when this Word goes forth with power, Somebody might ask, what must they do to be saved, delivered, healed, sanctified, and set free? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. amen. While their prayers were unanswered, Zechariah, we have a whole bunch of teaching in the Old Testament. It comes up into the New Testament. The Old is concealed, the new reveals. I'm going to have corresponding scriptures to back up whatever is said in the Old Testament. It, it lines up with the do. That's, that's where it is. This is the book. you got to get a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, you do not have a hunger. And if you don't have a hunger... You won't have a spiritual ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Your prayers won't be answered, but it give he he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. I know he, he reigned on me when I was out there stumbling around in the darkness trying to feel my way through for 47 years on this earth. Not, did, not till after then, once he brought me to the light, when I gave up, when I committed myself to Jesus Christ, not only did, did not until then did I understand what life is all about. To fear God and to keep his commandments. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Man, you're in the light. God is crying out to the people through his prophet Zechariah. Let's go to the word. Praise God. And I won't be before you long because this is uh, a celebration of the emancipation of the, this country. And uh, I know everybody want to get to their barbecues. So, uh, eight. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speak the Lord of hosts. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment. True judgment. Not this watered down judgment or this hidden judgment. Cruel judgment and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Ten, and oppress not the widows, nor the fatherless, the strangers, nor the poor, and let none of you imagine evil against his brother 
in your heart. But they refused to hearten and pulled away the shoulders and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Twelve. Yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Least they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Lord have mercy. Therefore it is come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried and I would not hear, said the Lord of hosts. Lord have mercy. But I scattered them with the whirlwind among all the nations whom they knew not. Praise God. Thus the land. Step 14. Huh? Step 14. Yeah, what is this? That's the last of 14. Oh, okay. Thus the land was desolate after them that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. Uh, why their prayers were unanswered. They were thick neck. They had no understanding of the word of God. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, they were thick necked. They were vipers. That's what Jesus called them. They had 400 years that God stopped talking to, to them through the prophets. We talk, he's using Zechariah the prophet to, to tell the people, to warn the people, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all the prophets, minor and major prophets. He spoke to the people now in sundry times and diverse manners. God spoke to his people through the Spirit, through Jesus. Jesus is the Spirit. And now he speaks through us, through the prophets, to, through the uh, Spirit. And so if you have the Holy Ghost, you ought to be hearing from God. He say, the day you hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the day of the provocation. Revelation. 3 and 22, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. This will not be done unless you have a an hunger and a thirst after righteousness, whereby you might be filled. The heart is deceitful and desperately wicked, and who shall know it? That's if you do not have God and Jesus in your life. The Holy Ghost will arrest you and give you a heart to receive. Let's exegete the scripture and get you on your way. Praise God. Why their prayers were unanswered. We're living in a time and a day and a place in this country where this is what we do to the people the poor, the downtrodden, and the oppressed. 8, 9, and 10. That's, that's, that's G. And the word of the Lord came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speak the Lord of hosts. Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment. Execute true judgment. That's all we ask for in every entity in this country. Systemic racism is on the rise. It's everywhere. It's places that we didn't even think would be just all the way up. <laughs> and but it's everywhere. And they have gotten emboldened by the Antichrist that just came out of the Washington, 
out of the uh, Capitol building, out of the presidency, we had elevated the Antichrist to that place. We have him in the churches, and they're called false prophets and false teachers, teaching everything but the word of God, picking and choosing what they want to lay on the people. And we have experienced that of the whole 400 years that we have been here on this country until we learn to know better. And now our job is to make sure that we stay liberated, liberated in the spirit. God will take care of us as long as we will be obedient to his word. We got to make sure, thus speaking the Lord, compassion. We have to have mercy, show mercy. We have to execute true judgment for our prayers to be answered. We're in the light now. God knows what's best for his children. Execute true judgment. He's speaking. He's telling the prophet to tell the people, Zechariah, tell them. And show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. You want mercy? Go to the Beatitudes 5, chapter 5. And see what he's saying about mercy. You want mercy? Show mercy. You want grace? Get Show grace. Man, you have to have a hunger and a thirst after God's righteousness whereby you will be fed. Ten, and oppress not the widow. Nor the fatherless, the stranger, nor the poor. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. Remember the scripture in the book of James, if I'm not mistaken. He's telling you, hey, God, you say you love me and you hate your brother who you see every day. We got to love these people. I got them on both sides of me, man. And we get along as long as we don't talk politics. And we, to, 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 we try to throw a little bit of Jesus on. That's about it. They think they know Jesus. But the Pharisees and Sadducees, they thought they knew him either, too. But I tell you, they'll knock on that door and he say, I never knew you. Get away from me, you workers of iniquity. They have a heart that they do, will not receive. Ten, and oppress not the widows. We got to take care. Remember uh, Matthew 25 and uh, 40. Matthew 25 and 40 reads, and the kingdom shall answer and say, the king shall answer and say, this is what Jesus said in, in the last day when he, the judgment is going to come upon the people. He said that king, the king will answer, just answer and say unto them, verily I say unto you, inasmuch as you have done it, Unto one of the least of these, my brothers, ye have done it unto me. You keep the, the foot on the neck of the stranger, the poor, and the widows, and you oppress them. You keep oppressing them. God is tired. He kept telling you. He showed you in the word. Man, let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. They have evil for us. They can't stand us. I didn't know they hated us that bad. Not all of them. We can't win this battle with uh, just us. We only 13%. So we need a whole bunch of them to come along. But we got to stand on the battlefield. We got to keep doing the word. We got to not be just hearers only. We got to be doers of the word. What thus said the Lord. The, the God is talking to us. 
all the time through the Spirit. And His Word is Spirit. That is the Word. To show yourself approved, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Right there, dividing this word. You can't do it on the phone. The Bible on the phone. You can't do it nowhere else but a Bible. Get this Bible. Get this Bible because you're going to have it marked up and it's going to, if you got a study Bible, Schofield study Bible, it'll run reference on to you. Your understanding is going to be null and void if you're just young in the... It's still hard for me to understand, and I'm fully grown. I'm on meat and potatoes and gravy. And I still have a hard time. Lord, help me. Show me. Give me my, the understanding of what I'm reading. And sometimes he just give it to you so fast, and he'll... He'll confirm it. He'll confirm it as fast as he gave it to you. You got to have an ear to hear. And don't imagine evil against your brother. Tell you, love him. But they refused to hearken and pull away the shoulders and stop their ears that they should not hear. And the Voting Rights Act was passed in 64, 65. 14th and 15th Amendment was passed. These jokers up here, they act like they don't remember. They act like uh, we didn't have a, no problem with uh, y'all not voting. Now y'all said, hey, yeah, we don't want you voting. Man was up in the Supreme Court telling them telling the Supreme Court from Arizona the reason they are doing it is too many of us. <laughs> it's just, it'd be just that simple. He came right out and said it. The quiet out loud. And we sleep. These people say they coming. And they coming for us because if we get in charge they scared we're going to do something to All that we want is justice. Equal justice under the law for everybody. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. Everybody has to be able to live comfortably in the greatest country of the But it's coming down. It's time is winding down. And if we don't fight back against the We'll be looking like Putin's Russia, uh, uh, Ping, uh, China, and Jap Japan. They coming, they coming for them too. When you sit up there and y'all holler about how the news is this and that, if you had an understanding that comes from the but you know what truth is, and you know what falsehoods is. You won't get duped. But you got to have the news to tell you who's doing wrong in the back alleys. What you do not see. What you just feel. They will bring it to the light. That's what the news is. That's why the communist countries don't want the news. Because it exposes them for who they are, what they're about. Y'all keep bashing the news. Yes, some bad news out there. Yes, it's biased. Yeah, I'm biased. I love Jesus with all my heart, mind, body, and soul, and my neighbor as myself, my brothers as myself. I love everybody. I'm a little biased. I don't want to have hate in my heart for nobody, and you should not either. Twelve. Well, let's receive if any of the nuggets in them. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulders and stopped their ears that they should not hear. Hebrews 3 and 15. Today, while it is said, Today, Hebrews 3 and 15, 
If you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the day of the provocation. Day of provocation when Moses came down from the, the, the mountain with the Ten Commandments. And God wiped out a big chunk of the Israelites. Yeah, Matthew 25 and 40. Yeah, what you, what you uh, did to the least of these, you done it unto me. What was the least of these? He said, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. And say, when I was in prison, you visited me. And, and when I was in the hospital, you came and, and came under me. That's what he's going to judge us on. We, we, we get off on the beaten path about sins, some sins. But man, I'm not going to be held accountable for your sins. Jesus told the woman, go and sin no more. <laughs> man. We got to get this right. We could been in sin now. It's to pull the nuggets out. Our job is to bring them to Jesus. Some plant, some water. God gives the increase. He'll take it from there. He'll start teaching them and showing them where they need to go and who they need to be listening to and how to discern between good and evil. The Holy Ghost in them if they're sincere in wanting to know you got to be sincere in your heart out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks praise god where were we at that was 11 yeah, that was okay 12. 12 that you got to hear 12 yeah, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the word which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. A great wrath. God Yeah. God of hosts, he sent his spirit by the form of prophets. Man, how many times have you sent the children of Israel in and out of bondage, captivity? Man, it is, it's a sad day to be caught in the uh, uh, wrath of an angry God. God kept them in bondage for the very reason that th their hearts, their hearts, man, was, was like a rock. They could not understand. The heart is wicked. That's why he wrote that song. The heart is wicked and desperately deceptive. And who shall know it? God knows your heart. I heard people, well, God knows my heart. You showed right. <laughs> and he showed it to me. He showed me your heart by what you do. Your, <laughs> your walk. Your talk. We can discern your evilness in your heart by what you do. <sighs> Praise God. 13. We finna wind it on now. Therefore, it has come to pass that as he cried, and they would not hear. It's God up there crying. Man, I'm trying to tell you. If you had a, a disobedient child, if you had, you gonna have one. You're going to be crying to the Lord. Man, help me teach this kid something. God is crying out. And they would not hear. So they cried. And he said, I would not hear, said the Lord of hosts. Okay. You don't want him to stop hearing. That's what 
the scriptures is all about. That's what prayer is all about. That's what line upon line, precept upon precept. That's what going to Sunday school, getting the word in you, learning the Bible. Somebody said, if you know the Bible, Sunday school needs you. If you don't know the Bible, you need Sunday school. It's just that simple. God makes everything just as simple as a little child being humble as a little child. You want it, he'll give it to you. All you have to do is want it. He who hungers and thirsts after righteousness will be fed. I'm a product of it. It works if you work it. That's the 12-step program. That's man's uh, 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 terminology of what God says is He'll give it to you if you want it. And let's clean it up. Praise God. Let me see if I Hebrew. What would Hebrew say? While it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. Jeremiah 17 and 20, 10, 23. Jeremiah 17 and 23. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ears, but made their necks if that they might not hear nor receive instructions. Man, prophets all over, pastors and teachers is trying to get this, those that are true to form, trying to get this word to their subject, to, their, to, to God's people, to the people that they're trying to get this hunger and thirst after. He cried out. He wants you to know some is planting, some is watering, some is out there in the vineyard reaping the harvest. God has sent laborers in his vineyard to reap. He said, pray for more laborers. When the harvest is plentiful, the laborers are few. And we're watchmen on the wall. Once you get it, once you get in here, he needs for you to do the work. The work is what you're going to be uh, 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 blessed by. Give and it shall be given. Press down, shaking together and running over shall men give into your bosom. If you seek ye first the kingdom of God and this righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you. God is going to protect us in this hour. And he's going to expose them for who they are and what they're about. Judgment is going to be metered out. You can run, but you can't hide. Ask Jonah. You can't hide. He'll whoop you all the way. If you don't get in line, if you don't stop the oppressing the hungry, the stranger. You forget about them, them, them Mexicans and coming over. They're strangers. They they believe in they Catholics, Catholicism. They're Catholics. Some of evangelists. Man, if they know their God, the same as my God, these people are going to be protected. By God, I don't care how much money you got. They might have to go through some things. They might have to suffer some some slavery like we did. They're going to be protected. God is going to always protect you. I mean, don't forget, absent from the body, present with the Lord. This is not our home. We're pilgrims tra traveling through this barren land. And we can't wait to make it to, I don't know about can't wait, because we don't know how it is on the other side. But if you know the Bible, you can't wait, <laughs> really. Uh, you're not dying to get out of here, but uh, you are dying to get out of here. Because this is an evil. He said, 
in the sixth chapter of Genesis, man is evil and evil continuously. It, it repented him that he made man. And he said, I would destroy it. That's when he put the flood and saved eight. Man, God is crying out. He's through the prophet Ezekiel. And he's telling them what thus said the Lord. He's crying to his people, trying to get them back in line. Because he knows what's best. We are his creation. He knows what's best. He knows the enemy. He made the enemy. The devil was made by God. He made the good and the evil. Go to Isaiah. He made the good and the evil. God, for our punishment. 14, but I scattered them with a whirlwind among all the nations whom they do not. He sends you to strangers. You don't, you don't like strangers in your land. I'm going to make you strangers. We've all been strangers. We've all came from somewhere except for the Indians and the Mexicans. And y'all have made them strangers <laughs> and oppressing them. You come over and take a person's land and say, you the discovered. You come and take your house and say he discovered it. Uh, no, you kicked me to the curb. Thus the land was desolate after them that no man passed through nor returned, for they laid the pleasant land desolate. Jeremiah, but go ye now unto my place which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first. And see what I did to it for the witness, for the witness of my people, Israel. He had to whoop them, and Shiloh is an example of how he scattered and tore up the place where nobody wanted to come. That's what he's talking about. Shiloh, he did that once, more than once. He, he had to contentiously do that. To make it, uh, you and an example. If you got three or four kids, my mama had nine. She had to make you an example. I told you don't touch the cake, and you did. If I let you get away with it, uh, the rest of them is going to do it too. So I'm going to set you as an example, and I'm going to whoop you. America. <coughs> <coughs> Rome failed, we can too. And they headed that way. If my people, if we don't fight back, if we don't stand in the gap, pray to our Lord, follow his ways, his teachings, do what he says do, he's going to protect us. And he will, he will flip the script. He said uh, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just anyway. So it's before the rapture, it's going to be a transference of wealth. And we're in this hour that it's by time. And it's going to be down. And if you miss it, it's because the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Don't be oppressed and wicked. You're going to miss out. But we're going to take care of you. Because that's what the, the, the what he said. Those that are least among us, we got to take care of. And he said, the poor be with you always. That's what the righteous do. We have righteous judgment. And we have mercy. And Yes, they, they call socialism, whatever they want to call it. These people in the book of Acts, when they were building the church, they laid everything and they divided it out. I know you people that's uh, about what you say about materialistic, you materialistic people, you're going to miss the mark. 
because your treasures ought to be up for that heaven. You want the tra heavenly treasures, and that's in the spirit realm. That's love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. And the, 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 uh, the, the Holy Ghost, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's what we're looking for. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And everything is going to be ours. And we'll be taken care of. One more. Thus the land will be desolate. Ephesians 5 and 6. Six. This is it. This wraps it up. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. You got to get in your word. Sister Hines, give me Matthew 13 and 15. I almost forgot that. Matthew 13 and 15. But that's what he said, man, the wrath of God comes on you. God said as he loved you, he whoops. That's what I can't understand why these people don't whoop their children now. He said, you, you don't love them. Matthew chapter, 13, Matthew, 15. Yeah. Matthew chapter 13, verse 15. For this people's heart is wax gross. And their ears are dull of hearing. And their eyes they have closed. At least at any time they should see their with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And should understand with their heart. And should be converted. And I should heal them. That says it all. At least they hear with their heart. And I hear them. Matthew 13. He said they have eyes to see, they cannot see, and ears, and they cannot hear. At least they hear and see and be converted. He can't do nothing with them. He have to, to uh, the wrath of God has to come over and take everything from them and give to another. If he have to kill them, like the man, the rich man that be, be, Bigger and better barns. They took his life that night. Where you think his riches went? It didn't go with him to heaven. Let us pray. While their prayers were unanswered, Zechariah 7, 8 to 14. Get in line. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come humbly submitting ourselves before your throne room. We come lifting you up and magnifying your name. We ask that you bless these dying people to have a heart to receive, ear to hear. And Father God, eyes to see what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless each and every household that is represented here. We plead the blood of the Lamb on their doorposts and their lentils. And COVID-19 and anything that is not like you cannot enter in but will pass over. And Father God, we pray that this word penetrated their hearts and their ears and their minds. Uh, that they might want to grow those that are into and those that are babies that they might grow up and be great and mighty warriors in the building of your kingdom here on this earth as it is in heaven and Father God in the name of Jesus we ask that somebody might ask what must they do to be saved delivered, healed, sanctified, and set free. And Father God, continue to teach us your will and your ways so we might be glorified 
to serve. That you might get the glory. Now listen. You said whom you predestined, you also called. And them you called, you also justified. And them you justified, you also glorified. To conform to the image of your dear son. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. If anybody don't know Jesus and the pardon of their sin, say this quick prayer with me. Father God, forgive me of my sins and my transgressions. And I know and I believe that you died on the cross for the remissions of my sins. And Father, I believe that on the third day you arose that I might partake of the decree of life and that I may live with you for eternity and walk this world in the eternity walk. And I'll make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. If you said that prayer, Go to the book of Acts 2 and 4. Ask the Lord for the Holy Ghost, which is said, he said in Acts 5 and 31 and 32. And he said, he will give you those that are obedient. Those that are not just hearers of the word, but do it this way. In Jesus' name. Praise God. And... <clears throat> Temple of place, temple of faith. If you don't have a church on temple of faith of God, we'll embrace you and uh, nourish you and cherish you and lift you up and elevate you and exalt you to be a laborer in God's vineyard and in, in, in the reaping of the harvest. This is the place to be loved, uplifted, and taught the Word of God. And uh, we will so be glad to have you. That's the temple of faith of God. And uh, if all minds are clear, let the sweet communion of your precious Holy Ghost rest through and abide. Until we return at the appointed time, we forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory that is so due you. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. And uh, if you got tithes and offers, just go to church bank and uh, deposit it, whatever, something, something you got. And God will bless you for your tithe giving. Giving it shall be given. Press down, shake it. In your deeds and your uh, finances. And happy 4th of July. And God bless each and every one of you. Have a blessed day. And have a blessed week. And we'll see you next week if God say the same. Bye-bye.